When people think of Prairie today, they picture a pioneer in educational technology, a proud, well-developed school district that attracts children from all over Cedar Rapids. This was not, however, always the case. Long ago, when Prairie was still a young school, it was not nearly as densely populated as it is today. Meet Miss Otero, a teacher of special education here at Prairie, who has extensive personal experience with the history of the school. Oh, I've been here 35 years. What would you say the diversity of the school was like when you first started here, Miss Otero? At the very beginning um, of my career here, there were, it was mostly, I would say, 98% um, white. And, um, but there were some individuals who were from different ethnic or uh, racial backgrounds. In the atrium of the high school, there is a flag for each of the countries in which PHS students have been born or live. What do you think caused the increase in diversity here at Prairie, Miss Otero? There was increasing development out in this direction, and I think one of the biggest reasons is because land is open here. Houses like these have been appearing all around Prairie for several years now. They draw many people to the area. Additionally, businesses in Cedar Rapids like Rockwell Collins and Quaker Oats call people from all walks of life. Why do you think somebody would choose Prairie, Ms. Otero? Once they got a flavor of what Prairie was like in terms of um, a smaller school and um, I think our staff, I believe, we've always, they've always tried to hire people who were really uh, kid-friendly and I think they enjoyed that particular type of individual attention and um, then many opened enrolled or tried to move into the district after that. I think that was probably the biggest reason. And what a good choice they made. In 1988, Minnesota was the first state to allow open enrollment. Iowa followed suit the next year by legalizing it in 1989. This map shows the 22 states that currently allow open enrollment. College Community School District began allowing open enrollment right away. In the 1989 to 1990 school year, there were 2,359 students enrolled at College Community. The district student enrollment numbers continued to rise over the next 10 years. And by the 1999 to 2000 school year, there were 3,523 students enrolled at Prairie. In 10 years, the student population at College Community increased by 1,164 students. The substantial growth led to College Community closing their short-lived open enrollment program in the 2001-2002 school year due to the high level of interest. There were too many kids transferring in for the district to accommodate. However, the district continues to accept continuing applications for students who once lived in the district but have since moved out. Taking a closer look at those students enrolled at College Community during the 1999 to 2000 school year, we can see that 84.7% of students lived within the district and that 15.3% of students are open enrolled. Of the 3,523 students enrolled that year, 232, or 6.7% of them, were special education students. Within the 232 number of special education students, 32.3% were open enrolled, while 67.7% lived within the district. The percent of open enrolled 
special education students is over double the percent of the total open enrolled students. This is because Prairie has a more complex or in-depth program for special education students. Special education in the College Community School District has grown throughout the decades and also helped the district grow as a whole. From 1972 to 1973, there are only 18 special ed students in a district total of 2,959. That's only 0.6% of the entire district. The small percentage of special education students remained through 1975. In 1975, the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA, required that all children with disabilities from ages 3 to 21 be provided a free and suitable public school education. The effect of this act is shown in 1980 when there are 56 special ed students out of 2,780 or 2% of all students in the district. Though still a small percentage of the total number of students, it is over three times the percentage from 1972. On a national level, there are about 8.3% of students with disabilities in total enrollment. Our percentage may have been under national levels then, but it has skyrocketed throughout the decades. Ten years down the road, and the percentage of special education students in the total enrollment has risen to 7.2%. This percentage consists of 180 special education students out of 2,500. By this time, the national level has 11.4% of disabled students out of all the students in schools. Again, we are behind, but still climbing up. In 2004, we raised this percentage to 14.1%, pulling ahead of the national level of 13.8%. Has in the College Community School District Special Education Handbook, the diversity that students with disabilities bring to the school is viewed as a strength of the district. Diversity teaches all students to respect human worth and individuality. Diversity further helps students recognize the responsibilities of citizenship and relationships with other individuals. Special education helps our district grow both by population and experience.